G'day guys, my name is Caleb, otherwise known as the Critic Kebab. Welcome back to my series, where in the lead up to the 94th Academy Awards, I will be making a verdict on whether the films nominated for Best Picture are actually worthy of winning that prestigious gold trophy. I will be giving my thoughts and breaking down the pros and cons of all these movies and explaining why they are so great. That is, if they're even good at all. There will be a playlist with all the videos, so make sure to check them out. And follow me on Letterboxd if you want to see my ranking of these 2021 Best Picture films. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content like this. Child of Deaf Adult. That is what the acronym CODA means. And this is the next movie I am going to be reviewing on the channel. And... Not only does it have a good title, but it has a really good story as well. Let's begin. Every family has its own language. High schooler Ruby is a part of a family of four, and she is the only one who has the ability to hear. She is a coder. And Ruby not only has to deal with the troubles and tribulations of growing up and surviving high school, but she must communicate with those she cares most about in ways that prove very challenging. As the only hearing person in her family, she becomes pivotal in how her father and brother function in the world with their fishing business. But when Ruby decides to take on more responsibility outside of her family commitments, she must quickly decide what's most important to her moving forward as a young woman. A coming of age drama is nothing we haven't seen before and come Oscars season, it's always likely one of these types of films will get nominated. This one is unique though because it explores a very intriguing concept, that being the coda. What's important for a story like this is that you have a sympathetic protagonist who you want to see succeed, a dilemma that forces the characters to evolve in meaningful ways, lots of emotional moments that are enhanced by expert acting, and a satisfying ending. This movie has it all. I found this to be a really enjoyable coming of age story. Directed by C.N. Hader, she has showcased her talents and brought to life this very uplifting and fulfilling story. The characterization is well thought out as the main characters are quite complex. They all have clear motivations and take action in ways that affect the plot in interesting ways. Even little moments like when Ruby and Miles decide to sing back to back because of their awkwardness. Great character building moments that establish the relationship in one stage and then by the end of the film you see them in a different stage. What stands out to me is within the script writing, Ruby is a character that very clearly plays an instrumental role in how her life unfolds. When constructing a protagonist in the writing phase, it is important to make them as interesting and as involved in the story as possible. A way of doing that is by making them an active protagonist. An active protagonist is one that makes decisions and whose actions drive the story forward. The higher the stakes in their decision making, the better. A passive protagonist is one that only reacts to situations without making any decisions to drive the action. Ruby being an active protagonist is clearly demonstrated when she decides to commit to her family and help them conduct the interview for the news instead of attending practice with her music teacher. This decision not only affects the trajectory of the film, making you question if Ruby will end up succeeding, but it challenges the relationship between Ruby and Bernardo. It's these tribulations that make this film exciting to watch. The family dynamic is superb, and why that is in my opinion is because they all have distinct character traits and the chemistry between the actors is really great. The scene with the family at the dinner table 
discussing Tinder was a super unique scene and one I found hilarious and very weird at the same time. Despite the fact there is limited dialogue, the actors really do bring these scenes to life with their passion. Inevitably, some of the scenes with sign language do come together a bit clunky, and from a directorial perspective, you definitely notice this because they have Ruby speak aloud to emphasize the drama. When a dramatic moment or line of dialogue happens that's important, silence isn't always the best way to communicate it for a movie. So the occasional talking aloud does come up for certain moments. In saying that, Cian Hader does evoke emotion in some really powerful and unexpected ways. And the best example of that is that moment of silence when you are in the auditorium witnessing Ruby perform, but through her family's deaf perspective. A great, bittersweet moment. Whilst acting across the board was really good, I think it stages Eugenio Debez does overcook it and his acting choices aren't always the best. He's meant to be an artistic, eccentric music teacher, but sometimes he does come across as unlikable. There is, of course, that typical high school drama that is just so typical. Unpopular kid turns out to be really cool and talented, cafeteria gossip, stuff like that. None of it was bad, but it isn't original or innovative. And my last piece of criticism for this movie is that I think it would have been beneficial if Miles' affection towards Ruby was communicated better in Act 1. It could have been hinted at to better establish the romantic tension between these two, because at the start of the movie, I was unsure if Miles was even interested in Ruby at all. By establishing romantic tension from the beginning, you as the viewer could have been rooting for them to make it work and express themselves to each other. Instead of asking yourself, is he even into her? What I like most about this movie is how the characters change throughout the film. The mother goes from being an overprotective parent to being at peace with her daughter leaving the nest. The father comes to understand that Ruby is talented despite having no comprehension of her talents and trusting her to go off and be successful. And of course, Ruby, a young girl who hasn't ever done anything without her parents and is becoming independent and chasing after her aspirations. The heartwarming ending definitely leaves you feeling uplifted and gives you that sense that her bright future will be successful. Coda is just well written, well acted, and really enjoyable from start to finish. A film definitely worthy of being considered for best picture. I think it's a good movie, and whilst it has so many good things going for it, it is a high school coming of age story, and we've seen plenty of those. Those are my detailed thoughts on Coda, released in 2021 to Apple TV+. Let me know what you thought of the film down in the comments below, and do you think it will actually win Best Picture? If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share this series around with fellow movie lovers, and we'll all have to wait and see who ends up winning that 94th Academy Award for Best Picture. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.